Did you like the bit at the end of the last video with the outtakes? Yeah. yeah why Did not? you get that far? Yeah. Okay. After I had a couple of wanks. Yeah. So, Dan? Yes, Millsy. Is that the start? Sorry. Okay. Should we do a little wave of this to the camera? Should we do like an and action? Oh, well, it could maybe be like we start by looking at it and then you just put it down. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, worked out all right. Nifty. Uh, so, um, you know, we've been doing all these videos and stuff and we did our monthly, first monthly one. Which the Max's TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. people seem to like. They did. Um, Nice. Sorry. But the thing people keep on asking us about is project cars. Project cars, yeah. yeah. So I thought, have a cup of tea. Yeah. Like this. And um, Lovely just talk tea. about some project cars, like our project cars. Our project cars. <sighs> and um, and some of the like famous cars from here, and just like where they are now and stuff like that. Because okay. that's the big question people always ask. They do. Who, uh, what, what's the first big, biggest question? Uh, well, the biggest question is, mm. who had the better project cars, you or me? You or me? Can we soak on my biscuit then? I had the best project cars. Okay, let's Off. go through it. Let's go through it. Right, so yeah. what was your first project car? My well, first project car on Max Power. We're talking about a window of about 2000 to 2006, roughly, aren't we? So my first car was a Renault 5 GT Turbo, legendary car. That was a pretty nice one. That was a pretty nice car. Bought that blown turbo, complete shed, black, dent on every panel, drove it from London, shagged clutch, everything. BB tuning engine, Dawson's bodywork. Did several like nice paint jobs on it. Went to a mad jack style in the end, didn't it? What was the what was the first paint job then? Because I remember it took being it back like to standard, green, yeah, like black. So it was oh, like black, standard yeah, body yeah. kit, standard yeah, turbo a body gold kit. Gold flake or something. Yeah, I think it did. Yeah, yeah. a bit of metallic in it. Still like small wheels, fifteens probably. Um, and yeah, it looked super nice. Should have kept it like that, and then it went a bit mental, didn't it? Fifteens, so. but even um, mm, 15s, people have been putting like seventeens on Renault fives. Then. Yeah, I like it. Uh, 17 was good on a, on a Renault 5, definitely, but I kind of liked it like low and fat and hunkered to the road, so I went for a 15. You still kept the square arches on the back and stuff, didn't you? Yeah, it was pretty low, but not the Dixie low, because it's all about driving it, so it had the coilovers and everything on it, and nice sticky tyres and better brakes and stuff, and about 160, 170 horsepower. That's decent. It was rapid. Although, yeah. uh, it also had that crazy install in the boot, didn't it? Yeah, mental install. Yeah, where it was like what, one sub in a big, like, uh, yeah, like a like teardrop a, sort of thing, yeah, yeah with arms yeah. coming off it, sub facing out the back window. It was really cool. It was very cool, beautifully done. I think that was liquid ice down in the southwest. The guys mm. did that, so big up if you're still about. You didn't, keep, you you didn't keep it though, did you? <coughs> Why did you sell it? Oh, mate, well, you got to sell, you got to sell <coughs> to get the next car, haven't you, really? So, mm. um, and then, so at the time you were doing that, I think that was when I had my 325 IE30. Oh, yeah, which was uh. So we should get a picture of that. Or? <laughs> uh, hold on. Da -da. <laughs> da -da. Mm. Mm. Uh, I don't think I've got many pictures of it standing because that's the thing back in the day. I mean, it was all on film, wasn't it? So mm -hmm. there's probably pictures of it that are in an envelope in archives at Max Power. Like, Gone forever. Like, yeah, probably in a bin by now. Um, what was that? That was. What colour did that end up? Well, it was. <laughs> well, it was white. What's them crumbs on the carpet? Yeah, it was, it was white when I got it. And I got it off of. Uh, off of revs, yeah. I sort my 205 GTI yeah. for it, which looking back now, I feel like that's a bit of a mistake, but you know, live and learn. Yeah. Uh, and then I took it to a body shop in the wilds of Norfolk somewhere. Uh, no, no real clue about who they were, but they apparently had M3 replica kits, so I was going to build an M3 E30 M3 replica. E30 M3, nice. But just like modified a bit, like a, you know, a Larry paint job and whatever. Uh, and then they had it for a little while and then said, ah, oh, our moulds are screwed, so we build you a custom kit. And I'm like, yeah, go on then. And it looks all right in pictures at first. It was like Cosworth style arches rather than like the more boxy ones with an E30 M3. Uh, but it took a long time. Mm. And then long we probably built about three cars by the time I finally saw it turn up at Max Live. <laughs> and it was, uh, if anyone saw it there, like, it's not my fault there. Um, so basically, I don't know, it obviously been stored in a chicken shed for a while. Yeah, had the some chicken poo on it, didn't oh, it? The interior was filthy. Mm. And, uh, and it was in the base coat of paint, so it was like this baby pink, and it was going to end up in this rich, dark, pinky, midnight clubby style, pink, like ab vlog style pink. Yeah, um, whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> pink, it was pink, basically. Yeah. And the worst thing was, so I'm walking out of Max Life, 
uh, with Jamie Shaw from Charisma, who mm. was a modifying god, right? Yeah. And uh, it was parked in the outside area, and I said, "Ah, oh, Jamie, have a look at this. What do you reckon?" And his face was just like, I mean, he's quite polite. Yeah, he's a nice chap. Yeah, but you can see what he's thinking. I mean, they built this kit where the arches have gone onto the doors, um, and then realised, hold on, how do we open the doors? Mm -hmm. So they decided, okay. in their wisdom, to turn them into butterfly doors. Okay, how do they go? Kind of like so, right, rather than scissor doors that open up like that, these ones open up off the A pillar. Right. Uh, so they basically use like door hinges. Okay, what, from your house? Yeah. Oh. Uh, and they were visible on the outside yeah. of the car. Nice. And, uh, and they hadn't like taken any of the door cars off, so it, it's a BMW door, it's pretty heavy, right? So mm. you, you basically lifted the door and it all started bending. Oh dear. So it was shonky pink with shonky doors and a shonky it, kit. It was shonky all over. And right, and covered in chicken poo. Yeah. Okay, sweet car. So I, um, yeah, so I took it back and I thought maybe they might be able to sort it out. Uh, and it went on for ages and then I ended up just signing it over to them on, by DVLA because I just thought... Oh, it's over, it's done. Yeah, so I've lost a car. Damn. Which is perils of modifying there. It can be, yeah. But in the meantime, I bought um, that XR3i as a run around. Uh, walked out of Max Power, uh, out the old building late one night because I've been sorting out Max Live stuff with Ben Barry, who was, uh, I think he was deputy editor at the time. Walked out, empty, like dark car park late night, last one was in the building. I'm, like, I'm sure my car was parked there when I came in. And it was just like a bit of metal on the floor, a bit of door lock, and uh, some oik had stolen it. So, wasn't having much luck. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but oh, fortunately, mate. Fortunately, the guys from Born to Modify aren't about anymore because they're in Australia. Uh, they took it and sorted it out a bit and then... Uh, was that the camo one? And then it? it went camo. Ah, with the guns for the exhaust, yeah, camo guns. and stuff. Yeah, yeah it looked pretty cool, man, you know. Yeah. Not entirely my taste, but... Yeah. Well, it wasn't... I like camo. Yeah, it wasn't quite how I envisioned it, but the problem is that when um, body shops do you deals, they kind of take some liberties, so there was like some weird zigzag bad boy bonnet bits that oh, weren't yeah. in the plan, and like the Perspex bit that was cut out in the bonnet, it's like, I just wanted it like simple, but um, it got a little bit less simple. A bit jazzy. I mean, it's a good show car for them, it was a cool mm. show car for you, I mean, it got a lot of chat, didn't it? Mm. I thought the guns for exhaust look cool and stuff. Bloody loud as well. Yeah, super loud. Slow, but loud. So that sort of time, I, w I did that, Remember that Cavalier SRI we did for that TV show Driven on yeah. Channel 4 where we raced against the Lotus Motorsport team? Who was driving it? Plato. Plato was driving ours, yeah. 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 And we beat reason. Lotus. <laughs> we beat Lotus, yeah. They got a Sierra XR 4x4 that they all boyed up and stuff. And we so we it. basically took their approach to modifying where we stripped it out, went lightweight. Absolutely. And they had a big heavy Cut Sierra. Springs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, made a Sierra. And they, as soon as they started, they booted it in their Sierra and it's four wheel drive with these cut slick tyres and you spat out all its drive shafts. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> so we had to go and help them fix it. I think I'll put, the, uh, I think I'll put the spoiler on that Cavalier. Yeah, the mighty Cavalier, yeah, yeah. Cut, the, cut the suspension springs, that's super low. It's a nice Yokohama tyres on it, TSW rims. How did you end? Stripped it out. How did you end up with that car? Just luck of the draw, mate. I think, well, I say luck of the draw. I went up to the warehouse where it's been stored and took it home. <laughs> <laughs> and nice. there it was, yeah, rinsed around. And that was a great car, single seat, but you could give someone a lift if they just sat on the floor, like on the bed, metal and rolled around, <laughs> but it was all good. What happened to it? They got pinched. Lent it to oh, Max Patterson, yeah, and it, yeah, yeah. Got bloody nicked. Boy, Peter. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it had no ignition key or anything. You just touched two bits of wipe together and stuff. Well, you know, ignition barrels are heavy, so we yeah. got rid of that. It's all about keeping it light. And then after that, I don't know what was it after that. I think didn't I did. You the... borrow, um, didn't you borrow that like, Sylvia from GBH? Oh yeah, the S12. Did a bit yeah. of stuff with that. Matt Black Sylvia. Yeah, that was all right. Mm. Didn't have a load of boost. I think I had a bit of a boost leak, but it's still all right to drive around. Have you got any pictures of that? Well, there's probably one in the mag. Somewhere. Yeah, the one in the mag. I think. Yeah, where I dressed because it was for Max Motors, and I was Auntie Sylvia because the car was called a Sylvia, so I had to dress as a woman. And I put the tights on, and I remember I actually not, not put, for the last time, not for the last time or the first time. And actually, just you couldn't see it in, in my outfit, but I put some ladies' knickers on just for pure authenticity. <laughs> and uh, which gotta say, it was nice. Yeah, you still gotta wear say, them now, don't yeah, you? Gotta yeah, gotta say, it's painful, but in a good way. So yeah. try it, don't knock it, get the pants on. You can get more of them in a washing machine as well, can't you? So, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's great. That helps. And then, so hold on, this was I had the escort. I sold that to some guy, and I can't remember. 
like so you had the Sylvia and then it was didn't you have an S13 for a bit I don't know why didn't S13 do much for a bit. To it. yeah I didn't do much to it that's quite a nice it. car crashed it yeah I was driving along back from a show I think on the M25 I had my Max Babe of a bird next to me and I was chatting to her chatting to her <laughs> and looked up at all the traffic stationary ahead so and you weren't no I weren't hit someone up the arse I was like oh so crumpled in the front end of that but that was a nice car and they're worth a lot of money now aren't they? Mm. What did you pay for it, like 800 quid, 1500 oh, quid? Yeah, I think 1500 quid, so it was quite a straight one. Um, but yeah, obviously crashed. It had it repaired and stuff, and it went somewhere else. I think yeah. Norris Designs did a bit on the engine. Cheers, Mr. Norris, thank you for that, sorting yeah. that out. And then you got the R32. Yeah, which, like, which when you bought it, I mean, that was like a crappy looking car when you bought it. Well, it had like horrible wheels on it. Yeah, yeah, the wheels were weird. Sort of they were kind of honourable Jap 17s, but they weren't super well, nice. They were like white with like a red rim around them or something. Yeah. Or something. Like, they, weren't, they were pretty. First thing I did was change the wheels, put some yeah. Momo, Momo on it. Uh, oh, shit, five spokes. Motorsport five spokes. Oh, no, they are No. No. We'll come back to on that one. We'll find it in the magazine. But yeah, it was dark, dark grey. Put the wheels in it at night, and then obviously it went full house colour paint, yeah. purple, Dolux kit, nineteen inch raised T thirty seven. I mean, big grudgingly, I'd say like I really like that. I really like that car when it was done. Like even like the red interior and stuff was, yeah, it was pretty nice. It was jazzy interior, wasn't it? Yeah. But the guy in Ireland did a beautiful job. The, I mean, the Dolux kit, those wheels and the paint. And it sounded like, I mean, it was. It sounded bitching, yeah, yeah big fat three inch. It sounded, three inch sounded faster than it was. <laughs> yeah, uh, there is that. Yeah. So I guess that was about the time I had the Cosy, right? <sighs> I guess there was a Cosy around. <laughs> was it that grey one that got lucky one day in the drag yeah. race? Was it that one? Was it the lucky Cosy? Well, you know the secret to that. So like, I bought that car off a of Fusion for peanut, well, not peanuts. Yeah, the audio for, boys. Yeah. But big for, up your Fusion. Yeah, it was their extremo car, so it yeah. was like bright green, obviously, and oh, had a few right. holes here and there. Yeah, and it was, on, the Q, and it was on the Q plate, which is yeah. Uh, fun. Yeah. Um, so it was never going to be worth much, so you might as well modify it, right? And then like, had it painted because the green I couldn't really live with, which was like in a. It was Audi TT Nimbus grey, uh, which is pretty similar to Nardo grey, which everyone seems to be painting their cars or wrapping their cars now in. All right, Trendsetter, yeah, 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 carry on. And I mean, that was like 2003, so just saying. And oh, black wheels on it, had wolf race wheels on it, which yeah. was pretty cool. It looked nice, man, it did look yeah. nice. You used it in the Max Power DVD, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That's was legendary times. Oh, yeah, it? and then obviously I beat you. In the uh, drag race. That we, was the best of three, and that was the third one, and I had fried my club. I mean, you don't see this in TV, but, you know, you do several shots. Well, no, like the first one, it's like, so the producer was like, okay, three, two, one, go. And I'm like, I've just turned it on. Like, it's not even warm. Like, whereas I think yours was warm. So I was like, <laughs> I pulled away. The fabrication. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the secret to all that was, bear in mind we were, they weren't the most powerful, either of them. Like, my, mine was running particularly well. Yeah. And Just over 200 horsepower, I think. Even yeah, it's like standard power, which is crazy. And then... Um, but I always remember when we were driving over to Bruntingthorpe for that video, and it was like, stopped at the petrol station to fill up. And old Pikey over there was like, ah, oh, so this is all going on expenses, this petrol, right? So you're like brimming it. And Hell like, yeah. And I'm like, hold on, it's we're going to race in a minute. So I did like half a tank, thinking, keep the weight down. And you had all the audio as well. So I was like, I felt pretty, well, yeah. I felt pretty confident, to be fair. Cause, big install in that car, yeah. 212, two big subs, all the... Wood and leather. Tough fact, Bruntingthorpe isn't the kindest to paintwork, is it? No, it's kind so of stones. I'm like, it's right, so you've got Dan's OCD about his paint. Like, that it's might, beautiful. That might take a bit work. of time off him. Yeah. He's like, he's topped up his tank because it's free petrol, like, fair enough, but, like, you know, there's racing to be done. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and just how fat I am. I was, <laughs> yeah, our skin is right there. You were skinny good. and young. But, yeah. But it's the granny shifting as well. And double clutch and like a shield and stuff. And, yeah, and poor clutch control. Yeah. I didn't want to smoke my clutch as well. Yeah. I didn't want to smoke my clutch. It was a brand new clutch in that. So. Yeah. But anyway, you sold it and we've, uh, we have tracked down your old Skyline, haven't we? Yeah. Or the old uh, S14 or the old. No, the R32. Oh. Didn't I send you pictures? Oh, yeah, you did. I can't so really look at that. It's too like, heartbreaking to yeah. look at it again. I mean, it's nothing like it was. Oh. So I think it's lost most of the kit. Oh. None of the audio. Oh. 
fun. I think it was used as a track car or a drift car or something. Oh dear. So, okay. Had a nice engine, RK tuning, 2.2, we bought it out to, forged pistons. Was it? Nice T34 roller bearing turbo in it. Nice. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it was a nice car. And then you had nice the S14A yeah. or S14. All the Skyline money went into the S14. It was an S14 strictly, but it had the A front end, so it was okay. an S14A. All these is front end, really. On those, so it was a yellow when you got it, wasn't it? And that's the one car from Japan that came yeah. in yellow, pretty tight. Yeah, then we did yellow the gold wheels, with. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then you did the burnout on the, uh, or so apparently someone borrowed your car and did a burnout on in front of the house yes. as a parliament. Yeah, for the cover shoot. Yeah. Was it for, oh no, it's just no, for it was a, inside. It was inside, inside, wasn't it? Yeah, just a nice picture for part, the part of your, uh, part of your campaign to become MP, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, I mean that's what Boris Johnson did when he got himself yeah. uh, elected, big smoky burnout. The old bill turned up soon after we uh, yeah. got those pictures, that was cool. It's good for that, it's a drift car, so had a full on drifting set up, two way diff and stuff, it's a handful on the motorway. Perfect for that though. But just talking about the politics for a second, mm -hmm. I mean, we, you were standing in South End. And I was votes? South End West. Like South, South End West. West, yeah. How many votes? 106. <laughs> 106 <laughs> so people thanks voted. all you 106 people that yeah. voted for Dan. That's... If I run again, would you, you know, because MPs expenses now, yeah. I'm thinking about the bunts now. You need to get your hair a bit more silly and yeah. maybe well, yeah, a bit go a bit orange or something. Like, okay. Yeah, politicians. Nice. So yeah, I'm a, nearly a member of parliament, so that was nice. Yeah. Wore a brown suit with a pink tie. Perfect. On expenses again. Yeah, absolutely, it was on expenses. Still got it, wore it to my wedding, wore it to his wedding. <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry girls, I'm not married. Uh, so yeah. And then the S14 ended up, like, so you, you were full. cutting edge. Yeah. Because you put Off. the old uh, Schmidt TH lines on there, which, like, Euro wheels on the Euro jet wheels on the jack car, madness. Yeah. I remember someone, like, when I just finished it, I took it with Bert to the cinema, so I parked it outside, and some Bert blokes took a snap of it and put it on the forums, and they were like, the wheels of the car! Yeah. Like, internet meltdown. Car, though, because the internet was about then, was Yeah, it? Just, just about, about, yeah. Dial up and shit, it was only black yeah. and white, but, you know what I mean? It's crazy. I mean, this is like, just as an aside, mm. this is one of the things where I'm like, uh, you know, we, we've talked to a lot of people over the last couple of months, who, so we've been like, doing, doing the old maxes, yeah, 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 yeah. And um, there's a lot of people that moan about, ah, oh, no one like builds cars, so it's all like, put air ride on, and wrap it, and set wheels and wrap, and they think it's built. Yeah. So, if we were to address that, mm. I would say like, well, A, I don't mind people doing that because at least they're modifying, right? Yeah, they're outside enjoying themselves. Yeah. It's all good. Um, I don't understand how it can win a car like that, can win a show or anything. Unless it's the best rap and wheel show. Yeah, yeah. There's an idea. There's <laughs> an idea. Uh, but, you know, it's pretty dull for the likes of us where if you go and feature it, it's like you've got nothing to write about. Yeah, right? a bit of short feature. Uh, and also it doesn't show a lot of uh, imagination. imagination. There we go. Nice. Um, so just, just, so just, just talking about the uh, internet. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I should have finished. Yeah, you should have done that one. Uh, it's like it's never been easy to modify now, right? So any idea that you have, it's like you can spend half an hour on Google and you'll probably find some idea on how to get it done. Whereas back in the day, it was like um, you had to rely on magazines to show you what was new or like the latest cars and stuff. Yeah, and if you're building something amazing, you think I'm the only person in the UK building this, then you turn it to Max, Max Power Live yeah. to debut it, so there's oh, another one exactly the same. Yeah. Those R33 GTRs with the uh, oh, the side kits on. Yeah, two uh, uh, that would be pretty gutting. I mean, they were both nice, weren't they? But yeah. one of them was done to a level above, wasn't it? So that would have been yeah. pretty gutting. That was some like unique car mats or something, wasn't it? That had the the silvery one and then the GVH Motorsport one, which was like yeah. the nostril bond. Bonnet one. That was a GTR and their yeah. one was GTS. Yeah. Both big, fat, sexy kids, weren't they? Yeah. they? But yeah, you, you know. It's great. We'll come yeah. back to the GPH car, okay. actually, because let's just finish off that. So the S14 was the last car on the magazine, right? Yeah. And so. Full on car, full on build, that was. Yeah. So in that time, I guess, I'd sold the Escort and I had the Series 1 RS Turbo, which I didn't do much with. And then I think I swapped that for a BMW Estate for getting around in. And then I swapped that for a Supra, mm. which I think was a twin, well, it was a twin turbo, but I think, think it might have just been in the magazine before I left. Yeah. It's but I remember we both- Was it an auto? Yeah, but not the auto box in those Supras, man. Like, obviously you prefer a manual, but the auto, like, I didn't want an auto one, but it came up. And I drove it, and I'm like, this is actually pretty decent. 
Right, I'd, I'd have another auto one and then start saving for a manual conversion. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, it's pretty decent. Um, so yeah, we both ended up with nice, iconic Japanese cars to finish. Yeah. And at some point in there, I had Roger's old 205. 205, which is very popular with yeah. you guys. Yeah, I mean, that was a good car. Mm. The, uh, yeah, so Pug one off did the engine conversion, which GTI 6 engine and the 6-speed gearbox, which was great, apart from like it hampered steering lock on one way, I can't remember which way. Um, so you did look like a bit of douchebag in car parks trying to park in a space because it was like a 20-point turn into it. Um, but it went around the track right and had that wicked uh, Isquis kit on from Ecos and they'd done all the bodywork and it looked wicked. Yeah, that's um, a nice good paint job and everything, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's one that people probably want to know what happened to. Oh, no. And I have no idea because I sold it to a guy who, uh, I didn't really want to sell it, but he kept on phoning me up and saying, like, can I buy it? And he was offering me a bit more money than I paid for it. It's so always good. Like, yeah, you don't have to make money on cars, right? So no, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> so I sold it, and he um, yeah, had plans about doing like jack front ends and door, like Lambo doors and all sorts. Uh, and I imagine it probably got started and then stalled, and it's probably probably sat somewhere. Yeah, it's probably it? sat somewhere. Maybe it's still alive. I don't know. It'd be great if it was. My well, S fourteen is still about. I think a guy in Ireland is smoking around in there. Really? Yeah. And he's, same wheels, huh? Yeah, it looks exactly the same. Nice. And, he, and he skids it proper, which is what it was built to do, yeah. And he skids it good proper. <laughs> don't break it, be nice to it. Don't chip the paint. Yeah, don't chip the paint. Oh. Was that a house colour paint as well? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was a house colour blue on a uh, over silver base coat, I think. Yeah. Charged speed wide arches. Yeah, that was a nice looking Proper car. forged engine. Yeah. Preferred the look of the R32, but... Yeah, the R32 was cool. Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, if you want to put in your comments which you think was the coolest <laughs> project car out of all of ours, yeah, well, feel yeah, free. Yeah, who had the better project? Well, like to be fair, I'd say you you spent more time on your project cars. I was yeah. too busy doing the magazine. Nah. Like, I was actually working. Well, and uh, you were creating the magazine, creating cars, same but different. Yeah, I mean, it's good that you were doing it, but yeah, um, yeah, it was good. didn't mean I did all the work. Yeah. But, you know, that's probably why I ended up as editor at large and you were, uh, oh. whatever you were, feature writer. Yeah. No, senior tea lady, buddy. Yeah. Well, you should. Yeah, 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 got a pay rise just at the end. Well done. Thank you. Uh, Very proud of that. Up to five grand a year. Yeah. Whoa. Still got the penny they gave me and everything. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the other thing. I mean, like, it's a dream job working for Max Power, right? But not if you want to be rich, because The wages were poor. The wages, the wages were ridiculous, so. Yeah. I think I remember, but I won't go into it, but I, I pretty much remember when I first started there, and it's like you're paying your rent and stuff like that. It's like I could literally, at the end of the month, I was like, oh, okay, I've got pound fifty left. Uh, I might go and buy a portion of chips, and that was like a real treat. And that's when I figured out actually going to car shows, you could claim for your food on expenses. So yeah. I was at shows for a long time. Just so you could eat. Just so I could eat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, it was awesome because. Uh, I did, like, generally it was one job where Friday afternoon came and I was gutted. So, actually, if I could elongate my work into the, my work into the weekends by going to car shows and meeting mates and shooting cars and stuff, it was like... That's why we're doing this, right? That's why we're doing that. Mm -hmm. But without any pay. Without any pay. Uh -huh. Just for the love of it. Yeah. Um, okay, so back to, like, other people's cars. Yeah. It's like our cars were, like, I mean, they were all right, but compared to some of the cars we've fixed, they were pretty lame, right? Because you mentioned GBH's Skyline. Amazing. So uh, I was trying to find out about that because I thought that would be a good one to go and find. Uh, turns out that um, that one was broken for parts. Ooh. So all street, I mean, it had a lot of nice parts on it. Yeah, and hella loads. Yeah. So that one's, that one's gone. Uh, bye bye GBH R33. Uh, who else yeah, are they asked us about? If anyone doesn't remember, was that one? Cover's a bit ripped, but. Oh, yeah, look at the paint. Yeah. The paint came out amazing on the photos. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've still got that number plate somewhere. Mm. Yeah, yeah, over there. The paint was awesome. I mean, when that turned up, Max Light, that was. Those wheels, I mean, they were so wide and all chromey. So much money in that car. Kick out. But that was, um, that was a prop car. I remember being passenger in it, driving through Colchester. It had like an aggressive clutch. It was like we were stuck in traffic, and Bob yeah. was having having a minor workout. <laughs> yeah, and he knew how to drive. Yeah, there he was no yeah my shy boot in it. Um, actually, that reminds me. So this is another one that was kind of famous. Do you remember this one? So this was a uh, Dave Stanley 
Yeah. And he's a badass Civic that was, man. Yeah, well, actually, it was, uh, I think it was his girlfriend at the time, Georgina's car. That was, um, I mean, that was badass. That was like one of the, probably, well, it was the best Civic in the country, probably. Um, Respect. With, <laughs> well, it had Raven hydraulic suspension on. I mean, Ray, Raven at that, around this time, which was 2003, I mean, he was busy. He was busy, that yeah. boy. He was always clamouring around under a car doing something, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, and you go over to his workshop, which was out in the middle of nowhere, and they were always like, these crazy cars he was building because everyone wanted Raven hydraulics. I yeah. guess it's a bit like how everyone wants like airlift suspension now. Yeah. But it's um, he I mean, cornered the market. Fair play, yeah. did a good job. And it made sense because got a like, nice and low, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, when you got a front bumper sat that low, uh, even if you were on just coilovers, being able to raise it up and stuff is. Oh, you got that, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I think this one went uh, at Civic turned blue, I believe. And um, I heard rumours that it was still around, someone had bought it and it was uh, tucked away somewhere. But, yeah, so but they're out there. But then I've heard other rumours that maybe it's just uh, it's gone now. Mm. There's another famous one. Yeah, so the Charisma TVR. I mean, that's one of the ones where recently. Uh, Quite a few people have like been sharing the fact that it was for sale up in Scotland. Yeah. And like, I mean, you and I even talked about should we club together and buy it, bring it back to standard, take it some, or bring it back to that standard, yeah. take it some. Bring it back to standard. <laughs> yeah. Audience yeah, yeah, sure we'll do that. Yeah. Charisma standard, not TV standard. standard. Yeah. But, it's, um, but the seats were gone, weren't they, for a start, the mental seats? The mental seats were gone. Uh, it's different colour. Yeah. Different wheels. Yeah. Different spoiler. Yeah. I mean, there was stuff on that car, like the spoiler. I think that had like custom uh, struts and all sorts. So. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah, so I don't know what, struts. So I don't know what happened to the, to the, why it ended up in that state. But the good thing mm. is, the guy that's bought it, uh, he's from Hull, a chap called Phil. All right, Phil. All right, Phil. Um, hopefully we'll come and see you soon, because uh, it'd be great to see what sort of state it's in now. He's going to get it sorted, isn't he? Get to a few shows and stuff. Yeah. Nice. Well, and it'd be interesting to find out if he wants to uh, get it back to how it was or or not. Oh. Well, that was a cool car. That was an American one, wasn't it? Was yeah. A, uh, oh, my God, there's so many. I'm trying to think of some of the other about that one. Oh, so I, I didn't bring that issue, but the uh, the Artec Civic, which had the same kit as this one. Yeah. That was Polk Audio 1 in the States. Which we shot, which was all nice, had nice install and stuff. But then uh, Artec, around about the same time, 2004, did an awesome orange and black one with carbon bits. Had the, I think they opened the first Cobra Misano seats in the country with the carbon backs. Oh, yeah. Which we like I remember so. then. Um, oh, Jesus. Yeah, that was a great car. Although, so that was. Um, oh, is that a car? Sorry. <laughs> That's your ex girlfriend. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> but. Uh, Yes. Mm. So, so Jason Rick owned the Civic Type R. Yeah, that's amazing. And uh, I remember coming out of tracks once and was pulling down onto the dual carriageway. And I just heard this. I'm like, shit, please. And I, was, I think I was in my school at the time. Mm. So I was like, you know, like when you get the kind of like instant cold sweats and hot beans. Yeah, like, Fuck. yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and then I looked round and he just came screaming past me, waving because he had some like stupid siren thing no, linked in. No, no. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah, but, that's cool. But you know, um, what else I'm, is it? Th that car's not laughing now. No. Uh, that's a very sorry little car, isn't it? Yeah, so we got sent photos of that and it um, looks like it's been majorly neglected and sat. All the nice bits nicked off it and then just like sat Yeah, no just fun sat rusty in a way. Again, rumours are that someone's bought it, maybe they bring it back, but to be honest, even like that versus motorsport, I don't think that was an American company, a guy called Donnie owned it, and uh, I don't think that's about anymore. So finding the kit be... Yeah, it'd be tricky, wouldn't it? Yeah. So what other cars do we want to know about? Oh, did we talk about the Caleb coach, Mark Astra? No, not yet. Oh. oh. <laughs> the old Smokey Joe. Yeah. Fiery Glory. Yeah, so that one went up in flames, didn't it? Yeah, but it definitely went up in flames, that and car. And there's Plenty of photos of that in a sorry state, but I've heard a rumour that I don't know if it's Jet or someone else, but that might be coming back. 
Nice. Yeah, which would be impressive. I mean, that was a great Astro Coupe. There was another Astro Coupe, obviously. That was less great. Less great, but quite quite well known. Yeah. Got, got around a bit, didn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Project Slam, Max Power It wasn't that slam. Project Slam, it wasn't that slam. Yeah. Well, it was. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. The body kit was slammed. Yeah, the body kit hit the floor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that still exists, and it's in pretty good nick. Yeah. Um, because it's been in the museum, and uh, so we're talking. Well, we're talking to them at the moment, aren't we? To yeah, see Haynes Museum. If we might be able to go down and see it and do something with it, or or more, but watch maybe get back. Yeah, maybe. Maybe yeah. Maguire's might be up for. Maguire's for bring, might be up for bring, something. Bringing back the old. Uh, well, because they were like the sponsors of the car, weren't they? So they had big Maguire's logo up the side. Yeah. Um, I mean, Max Power Project cars. People like people love talking about them and what happened to them. So, uh, I mean, you go through them. It's like, so there's Project Man Max, which was Corrado with a right uh, white body kit on, painted in orange and like had a crazy install and stuff. Uh, I mean, do you remember? Like, I can't, it must have been about 2004, 2005, maybe. It turned up at Max Life. Someone came up and was like. Oh, I've got that car. Like I'm trying to restore it, and we we're like, oh, well, where is it? It's like in the car park. We're like, bring it down. We'll have a look. And it came down, and it was like, it was like in a weird purple colour that looked like it had been sprayed with rattle cans. Um, it was in a sorry state for itself, and I don't know what happened to it after that. Some people reckon that um, well, I've seen photos of one that looks like it, similar in like beautiful gloss black, uh, on German plates now. Uh, Back to the motherland it's yeah, gone, is it? Well, maybe that, whether that's the same car or not, I don't know. And then Project Thunder, which um, I remember is when I was reading the Meg when that came out, and I always thought that was awesome. And that everyone knows about that one ending up in the shop window because, I mean, the beauty about those project cars is we always gave them away, so yeah. people, people were always winning them. And, you and know, crashing them. And then crashing them, yeah, I think a lot of them died like that. There's Project XS, which was another Riga, I mean, Back in the day, I think Max Power and Riga must have had some sort of deal going on. Same was going on. Yeah, but um, yeah, that was a wide body E30, which was pretty sweet. Don't know what happened to that. Maybe someone does. Let, let us know. Um, Project 2000, which was a pink Escort. And I mean, where did that go? Yeah, who's got that now? Yeah, I wonder if anyone, anyone knows. Let us know. Is anyone going now? Seriously, if one more person says to me, "Hey, you know Project 2000?" Yes. Yeah. Uh, monkey London, there's some like. Who's Monkey London? Well, Is he a monkey that lives in London? Well, I don't know. We know you are, Chief. Big up. Yeah. Love the channel. Car's looking know. amazing as well. The car is looking good. Yeah. Um, in fact, we'd quite like to see it again. So if you want to come over for biscuits, bring it over. Let's have a look. Feel free. Nice. Um, and then. That's going to be a cool car. He's got mm, some cool plans for that. But I mean, I always remember because that was the Porsche Carmen Rock Red paint yeah. which was actually pink but like I mean that was ballsy back then when it was like pink with a bright green roll cage like that was awesome I love that car um, in fact the guy that owned it for a while Jamie Kelly like I got him involved in a few shoots over the years and got Project 2000 up to Max Live a couple of times um, yeah awesome car and then there was like that Saxo Maxo which was the uh, sort of F2 arched silver Saxo that was just just as we kind of joined that mm. was happening and going. That'd be a cool car now, wouldn't it? A little yeah. Saxo with some wire arches on it. Yeah, we should build one. Can't find Saxo, though, can you? No, nah, although Haynes Museum have got a Saxo down yeah, there, yeah, sitting next to Project Slam, though. If you want to do a little package deal, yeah. I could definitely do a Saxo, EP3 Type R or a little Saxo. Or a little Saxo with an EP3 Type R engine in it. In it. With those arches. Oh, that'd be a screamer, wouldn't it? I could crash that in no time. <laughs> Literally seconds. Yeah. Uh, and then while we were there, I mean, Max Power got, was getting so big that most of the project cars, I mean, we built a lot of project cars or mm. were involved in a lot, but most of them were um, because companies wanted us to build project cars for them. So we had computer game companies like Rockstar Games wanted us to build that Skyline R33 GTST. That uh, thing used to tear around Peterborough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the advertising guys ripping around in that. Yeah, it looks great. And that, that was a cool car. That was a cool car. Yeah. Four hundred R front bumble, wasn't it? And then yeah. that single Wings West. Yeah. Spoiler. First one in the country, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. So oh. that was cool. Don't know what happened to that one. Oh. I mean, it's probably turned into a drift car at some point. Um, and then there were like 
Need for Speed Underground, we did the impress from the skyline. Mm. I mean, I always remember John Souza and saying that impress was like one of the fastest things he'd driven because it was <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, it was pretty quick. I think it kept That's a popular doing. one, Pretz as well, wasn't it? It was like yeah. a decent one. It was a three door, three um, door. STI. I don't know if it was an RA or what, but um, yeah, that was decent. And the R34 was. I guess that was a GTT. Yeah. It wasn't a GTR, <laughs> imagine. Yeah. Um, Still sweet. Yeah, so that cool. No, no idea what happened. No. I mean, Max, Max Driver Civic, which had all the graphics done by a cool London agency up the side, like God of Speed or something. Um, yeah. It was meant to be, I think it was named after the guy at Honda who had invented VTEC. Um, on the ball? Yeah, which was pretty cool. Um, yeah, and we did that with Adrian Flux as well. To promote Max Driver, which was going to try and help young drivers get better insurance. Yeah, thanks. Because we all know that's a killer. Yeah. Um, not seen that again. I mean, Man, all, that car lived a hard life. We, we always had some fun with that one. We always had some fun with that. That was probably the most nearly crashed car in the magazine. <laughs> it probably was. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, I mean, there were other ones, like little ones, big ones. Uh, but Project Slam, that was the, that was probably the biggest one, wasn't it? Yeah, had a cool paint job. Dick Vale came over from America to paint that car. Mm. Legendary old. Californian painter, Maguire sponsorship, Charisma Interior. Yeah. It just didn't quite sit right, did it? But I reckon if we got it, if we got it, might get it, don't know. We could do some trimming to that shit. Tell them that. Right, are we getting it? Shh. Keep it. We're not getting it. We are getting it. We might go down and hopefully we might go down at least photograph it and do a little little video on it. He's keen, but I don't know. Because I can't remember actually. uh, So that's the other thing, like, I mean, Max Power DVDs, apart from. The best ones that I was in. Well, like there were some where we actually were shooting a DVD, but a lot of the stuff in those DVDs was um, we'd just be on shoots and have like a camcorder with a tape in it and just do a bit of behind the scenes thing. Um, but we didn't do it on every car, and then it was like, oh, we're doing a DVD, have we got any film? <laughs> and they just cob- like cobbled it all together. Yeah. Um, was a cool one. That's the idea with this is that everything we go and see, we shoot and bring to life. Yeah. And hear all the noises and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I mean, if we had video of all those cars, oh. I mean, there were so many DVDs we could have done, but it's all about the money, wasn't it? Yeah, it's quite expensive to do that now, but yeah. as you can see by the quality of these, they're much cheaper now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're pretty cheap. Real cheap. Uh, but we get better. Yeah. Next one's going to be even better. We've got gimbals and all sorts now. So. That's right. I don't know what a gimbal is, but we got one. Yeah. So, uh, wasn't he a character in Lord of the Rings or something? Don't watch Lord of the Rings. Don't look like Lord of the Rings. No, you're more of a, like a... Star Wars! <laughs> I was going to say, like... My Little Pony. Mrs. Brown's Boys or some gash like that. Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Kids TV. That's a bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So, anyway, so that's us talking shit about old project cars for a bit. Yeah. Uh, if you want to decide who had the best project cars out of me or him, you know, feel free to pop a little comment down there. Yeah. And who's going to have the best project car in the future? Because, you know... I've, I've ordered some spaces for my E36 for oh, ISL. Yeah, nice. Just 10 mil, just bring the wheels out a bit. Ordered the LSD as well, got an LSD coming for it. It's going okay. to be sweet. What have you ordered for your M3 recently? Uh, yeah. Well, the fact it's an M3 is topping. You can't dine out on that forever, mate, can you? Okay. Watch this space. It's, yeah. it's going to come space out. Is, uh, the space that's like. Yeah. Big. It's big and empty at the moment. But big, seems but to be big filled. and full of car that you'll go. Oh, man. I'm so jealous. Yeah. I've sold a kidney recently, so I might just buy something mega. Well, you might need to. You might need to soon because there's going to be a Larry M3 coming your way. Yeah. Keep them peeled. But with a bit of old school flavour. In fact, I've potentially sourced something that's going to cost me a fortune for what it is. But it's like, apparently, the, so the guy who was sourcing it said to the, ask the supplier, and they said, But we have not had anyone ask for that for this decade. This century. Jesus, where, it, where was, <laughs> was he German? Yeah, or India, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to oh, so go a bit retro. But, okay. um, so a German sort of motorsport supplier or something? Or? What's this space? Germans do make nice bits. Yeah, you're going to have to up your game because this is going to... You're going to have to get 20 mil wheel spacers. Oh my God, they're like 20 quid. Minimum. 
Minimum. Minimum. Right. You might even have to um, sort out the fact that your car is about three different silvers mm. and not on purpose. No. And so, don't wrap it. You got to paint it. Yeah, I'm going to wrap it. Wraps. Yeah. Fair horror stories about wraps. Yeah. All right, we'll sort something out. Do it properly. Yeah. Um, and then actually, it reminds me. So thanks to everyone that sent in uh, cars from the past. Uh, because there's some from even before we were on the magazine that have been sent through, some in hideous states, some that are being restored, which is awesome to see. Uh, so we're hopefully going to get out to see some of those yeah, 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 at some yeah. point. Yeah, the weather's a bit shit at the moment, but we're, yeah. you know, we're coming, definitely. So just get them finished. Yeah. We're coming to get you. We know, a lot, we know a lot of these cars. We've seen them back in the day, but yeah. there are some that we never even saw. So... Um, it'd be quite a treat for us to come and see them and show the world what you guys have uh, have salvaged from the past. Yeah. Um, and obviously we're going to bring out some. Uh, we're still going to feature a load of cars that hopefully people haven't seen too much before or or at all. So yeah. it's going to be fun. It is, mate. A few lots of prizes coming. Roll on the summer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I like your t-shirt, by the way. Where can I get one of those? Thanks very much. Uh, you can't get one of these at the moment, but is that because we're a bit lazy? Well, yeah, we need to make a few more, but they're nice, so we could make a few more. So yeah, we'll give you a shout. Been through the wash a few times. Yeah, I've stuff. worn it. You know, what I mean, I've rolled around in it. This is what we do. We do uh, in-depth product testing, so extensive. Yeah, to make sure that you know, if we ever do end up doing merchandise, it'll be half decent. It'll be hot. It'll be Chinese, but it'll be half decent Chinese. <laughs> half decent Chinese. <laughs> Oh, I've got basically Chinese now. Yeah, should we go? Getting off topic. Should we go for Chinese? Should we go Chinese? Yeah. Chicken ball. Chicken balls. Prawn chow mein. You're a chicken ball. I don't even know if that's an insult. I don't even know it is either. Well, thanks for popping in, Millsy. Oh, I don't know if it was a pleasure or not, but... Um, no. Always a pleasure, mate. Never a chore. Yeah. But I'm looking it on YouTube if you like it, let us know. Yeah. And um, if you want us to cover any other topic in a long, diluted, convoluted way... Uh, Good words from Millsy. Tell he's a writer. Yeah, then let us know because we're right. more than happy to talk crap for yeah. half an hour and drink tea. So, yeah. um, what else can we talk about? I mean, cars. I think we can do. We'll do a lot more cars. Um, oh, I'll say the other thing that we want to do. And again, feel free in the comments below. Uh, we want to try and find some of the old girls that were featured in the magazine, like your Pinders. Was like that Pinder? Your, was that Re oh, was Pinder? Like Hayley Marie's. Where's Rebecca? Uh, <gasps> oh, you're Katie. This little blonde bombshell. Yeah. Because it'd be interesting to talk to them, right? And find yeah. out what they thought about uh, what they got up to back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> what did they get up to back yeah. in the day? Who knows? Mm. I know. Yeah. Um, good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. Mm. But, I mean, they were, they were almost as popular as the cars, weren't they? So... You know, you walk around Max Live behind one of those girls and they were mobbed. They were mobbed. I mean, must have been tricky dealing with all those teenage boys and all their boners. A lot of testosterone. <laughs> yeah, those toilet cubicles. Just talking about Millsy as well. Those toilet cubicles probably got some... Oh my God, there. like a pass his radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great days. Oh, okay. Anyway, so if any of you girls are out there, then you want to um, come and tell us all the horror stories or the, or the great stories from Max Power Days, then yeah. let us know because... We hope yeah. you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. And, and, so, and sorry if... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry if you're still angry, don't get in touch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you're still half tidy and want to do it in a bikini, even better. Yeah. There you go. Nice. So, so that's it. That's it. Um, Thanks for watching. Yeah, until next time. Take it easy. Yeah, watch out for uh, Max TV episode two, which will be hopefully end of March, and we should... We'd probably do a few things, like a few yeah, shows and yeah, cars we're going to We're going to get out, yeah, definitely. I don't know get why you keep on talking about weather. You're getting really old, aren't you? Oh, it's raining, I can see it, aren't you? It's yeah. a bit chilly in there. It is a bit chilly in there. Hope you can't see my nipples. If you can, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and on that bombshell, oh. um, which sounded a bit like a top gear, so yeah, I'll, did. I'll oh. change it. Uh, on that. Dan, you're a weirdo. There you go. That's our catchphrase. Yeah, Dan, you're a weirdo. Thanks very much. Until next time. See you later. Love you. Oh, cut. <laughs>